Hello and welcome to the Isis Chronicles. So, um, I decided to, well, first let me um, introduce myself. My name is uh, Solange and I am the creator of the Isis Chronicles. It's a website to empower women to tell their stories so that they can empower other women because I truly, truly believe that um, women empower women just by speaking on their experience. We all have a story and sometimes it's more, it's more actually similar than um, we could it have ever imagined. So that's one of the reasons that I created the Isis Chronicles to kind of bring women together. I mean, I know there's a lot of that happening and I'm so happy to see that. And um, I want to continue to see more women empowering each other. So I'll give you a little bit of, uh, about my background, a little bit of uh, info about me. I was um, born in New York City, the Bronx. I'm a Bronx girl all day. Um, I no longer live in the Bronx, but I live in Westchester County. I have two beautiful boys um, who are doing extremely well. And I come from an Afro-Latina, I'm an Afro-Latina, um, meaning my mom is from Honduras and we are Garifuna people. If you don't know about us, look us up. We have a very interesting history. I might actually do a video a little bit about our history and we speak uh, African dialect and we also speak Spanish. Um, and, you know, I, I grew up you know, having being Afro Latina in the 80s in New York City, or I'm sorry, anywhere, was difficult because a lot of people didn't really understand what an Afro Latina was. They didn't understand that yes, you know, slavery didn't just happen here in the in you know in the United States. That it was happening all over the Americas, and that we were just dropped off, you know, pretty much everywhere, you know, in the Americas the the West Indies West Indies and stuff like that so it was really hard um, explaining especially like I said in New York where the only they thought the only people that were Spanish were um, Puerto Ricans or Dominicans as far as being black um, you know they of course they knew about Mexicans but Mexico just I think was it last year recognized all the Africans that's been there for centuries um, but that's that's who I am. I am now in school after many many years of trying to finish. I finished with my BA. No, sorry, my associates. I'm in school now for my BA to um, in in philosophy, um, and I'm it's a double major philosophy and um, political science. Um, concentrating in human rights because after this I am going to law school I want to get my JD and my PhD in philosophy so I got a lot of work ahead of me and I'm excited about that and I have wonderful friends and family who support me um, I have one of my homegirls um, is gonna take her uh, test to become to have just finalize her being an, an attorney and I'm super super proud of her hey Tiff um and you know I have such wonderful friends who um are just doing doing their things and I'm very proud of them I have another friend who was a teacher um with the DOE and she's looking to to make changes and make moves and um you know my sister just opened up her daycare center. So I'm just seeing all these wonderful things with all the women around me. And I'm so proud and it makes me happy because black girl magic is real. <laughs> it is so real and I'm seeing it and I'm loving it. And it just inspires me to continue to do more and more and more and more. Um, and, you know, they tell me that I inspire them too. And so that to me is what it's all about us inspiring each other and it's not always going to be a uh, easy road especially being you know black in this country it it's not easy we have to work harder we have to be smarter we have to be more strategic and how we're going to do this and how we're going to do that and um but it's doable i mean we're black for god's sakes we have lived through so many things and we have um 
we have survived a lot of things so yeah but you know one thing I try not to do is make things about race unless it's necessary because sometimes it's necessary but what I do know is that just as women women period we have a lot of strength in us we have a lot of um we have a lot of fight in us because we have to you know we're mothers we're we're everything we literally are everything especially when we when we become mothers and the one thing that i have noticed is that no matter what your race is or your social economical um background is or, or where you come from we all have a story and a lot of the times it's a similar story, you know, whether it's with men or, you know, um, sexism in the workplace or, you know, self-esteem issues because we have been told that this is how you must look and this is what's beautiful and all that bull, you know, um, we still we still go through um, some of the same things and obviously not all of the same things, but we still go through some of the same things. Just being a woman, it's not easy, especially living in society. But like I like to say, and, um, with, um, on my IG, which is the ISIS underscore, no, the underscore ISIS underscore chronicles, um, that the future is female. And the one thing that we need to do is rise as goddesses um and understand what power we possess and we need to come together no matter what your background is no matter what your religion is uh, or your spirituality is no matter what color you are it does not matter we need to come together and have enough strength not to be bullied anymore by this you know this man made society this society that is right now run by men and i mean hello you know the spartan women said it you know we can speak to our men the way we speak to them why because we birthed them we have that power we are the givers of life and so without us there is no them and they say oh well you know we hold this the seed well guess what without us regardless to whether you hold the seed or not there is no you because we are the ones who have to nourish that seed we have to feed it we have to love it and it has to grow and it has to it grows where in our womb so that needs to be respected and it's time for us to demand that respect so that is why i created the um, isis chronicles i'll be doing you know more interviews i have an interview up with the beautiful kiki kitty she is a designer um and she was uh the spearhead of fubu ladies she's designed for Nicki minaj and she just has a huge resume um so please go check that out subscribe to my um youtube channel the isis chronicles follow me on ig at the the underscore isis underscore chronicles and follow me on twitter too isis chronicles um i hope to see everybody soon please do not forget to to like this video and subscribe to my channel and you will be getting more videos from me coming soon thank you bye